Christian, I challenge any Christian who wrote the Bible. I've never gotten the right answer since I've asked that question. Every time I ask them face to face who wrote the Bible, they don't have no idea. They start telling me the 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 the, uh, the apostles names. You know, they start talking about, uh, you know, Judas and, 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 and John and all these. No, they wrote nothing. Those men were illiterate men. They couldn't even read or write. They were illiterate people. The Bible was written from 100 A.D. to 900 A.D. by Phoenicians, followers of Hermes. Thoth, the Atlantean priest king. That's who wrote the Bible. And they didn't write a Bible. What they did was they started copying ancient texts from all over the world. Remnants of the Library of Alexandria, copying these ancient texts onto different parchment papers and stuffing them inside of vases and jars inside of caves. Over time, between 100 AD to 900 AD, people, explorers and archaeologists coming across these vases and opening them up, finding all these ancient writings. These ancient writings were copied from OK, let me translate this tablet onto this writing, onto this uh, parchment paper uh, and, and then store it away. All right. They would study these things and read them inside of caves in the middle of the night and stuff like that. And so over the course of that amount of time, 180 to 900 A.D., that's after the death. Jesus and Paul and Judas and Matthew, they were dead. Two thousand years prior, <laughs> they were gone, long gone, ancient history. The Bible wasn't written in real time. Nobody was walking around going, what'd you say, Matthew? Let me write this down again. Wait, say that again, because I didn't quite hear that last sentence. Let me write this down again. Nobody's doing that. Nobody. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Hold on. Say it one more time, sir. I didn't get that last quote you just said. Let me write this down one more time. Come on, man. That was written long after. These people were gone and passed away. So where did this information come from? It came from ancient texts and ancient tabs recopied onto different parchment papers. And the proof is in the pudding. You can go back and you can find those same exact quotes and statements and words out of the ancient text. It comes right from there. Some of it copied word for word directly onto these parchment papers. Then later, people who discovered these things, eventually they came together uh, and, 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 uh, and brought them all together and said, hey, let's make this. Let's make a canonized book out of this. And that's when the Council of Nicaea got together and they started going through and curating what they would put into this canonized Bible and what they would not put into the canonized Bible. And then when they got to a good mix of neuroscience where they knew they can utilize this information to control masses of people, they said, we're we going to put this one out right here. Boom. We altered this. We changed that. We mistranslated this by accident on purpose. We changed this around. We put this over here. We moved this around. We took out the part talking about aliens. We took out the part talking about spaceships and UFOs. OK, so now I think we got something here. We can we can dominate the planet with this. By compendium of the Emerald.